Ness, though. Woo! -hoo! Oh, ho -ho! All right, so a couple things that we need, I'm gonna go ahead and just list off and then start grabbing them. Uh, first things first, it's gonna be gas type. So you have either propane or natural gas. In this instance, I'm going to act as if we are running off a propane tank, your standard 20 gallon uh, propane tank. Uh, next, you'll need an enclosure, some sort of some sort of unit itself. And over the years, I've seen all kinds of build, you know, people build things with different fire, uh, you know, uh, bricks, pavers, things like that. Different concrete planters uh, are a very popular option. Uh, and then of course, there's the option of framing with something uh, more like a uh, steel stud and, and hardy backer, how we build our units, our fire pits and, and, and outdoor kitchens at that. So there's that. The main component that goes into it is going to be a burner. Uh, so those come in different shapes and different sizes in which we have uh, a bunch over here that uh, we'll utilize. Um, you'll need a key valve, so some sort of flow to turn on and off and control your overall flame output. And then last but not least, some sort of media. This would be the, you know, the cherry on top, so to speak. Whether you put a lava rock in there, a tumbled lava, we use this backfill, I'll explain that. Uh, or more traditionally, a different colored glass. So. That's really it. Uh, it, it. Pretty simple, straightforward list, uh, and we're gonna start. To, we're gonna start pulling some of these items, showing you guys how. First thing I'm gonna grab right here is the burner. So I'm going to use, for example, a 12-inch round stainless steel burner. Uh, so we'll have this burner as a component. Next is the key valve, as I mentioned. So these are some of the most popular options right so there are different there are different ways of controlling this uh, this flow on off uh, when the valve is shut it's shut you don't have to worry about doing the propane tank or the natural gas uh, so we have that next thing is this is just one of the ways to do it i say it's one of the ways because you can literally do it there's a hundred different ways to do it whether you hard pipe or use what we call flex lines these are stainless steel flex lines, flexible gas lines uh, that you can bend and twist and manipulate to, uh, and, and get to your valve wherever you need to go and it's not going to compromise any gas flow. So I have right now one 24 inch and one 36 inch. Just for reference, I'll show you how these plug into the valve itself. And then conveniently here, Last thing is going, besides the media, is going to be that ignition, right? So we have set do-it-yourself kits that are already put together where you have key valve on top and you have a push button ignition on the bottom. So two different ways of doing it is either a traditional match lit uh, system where you, you know, stick a long stick lighter and use that or maybe throw a match on there or you use something a little bit more contemporary uh, and these are in the battery operated ignition system since which you have a spark goes next to your burner Turn the valve on create your spark And you have your fire uh, really easy We'll go over how to mount these as well um, and plumb them through and Then last step as I mentioned uh, before is choosing some sort of media uh, Maybe your favorite color glass or your favorite sports team you can make different logos and things like that, um, but that'll be the, uh, the cherry on top there. So as we mentioned earlier, typically your enclosure would be something like a uh, um, brick paver or a pot of some sort that is, you know, fire retardant. Um, but this is it. So we have our burner. I went ahead and capped this already. Uh, there's a cap that came with it because you do need to cap one side of it. Right here is what we have a half inch close nipple. So that will kind of be our union to our, to our flex line. And then, so I have one flex line, I dish the other one. This one I have is a propane regulator. So standard propane line and regulator, which you typically see on fire features or barbecues. Um, you could find just about anywhere we have them. All right here's our key valve with our push button ignition. Uh, that's already set up. And now I'm gonna show you guys what to do for the key valve 
in and output. So let's get right to it. Uh, this one, as I mentioned, has the has the close on there. Uh, for the sake of the video, we're gonna use an elbow. That's why I alluded to earlier. Uh, you know, it can be done a hundred different ways. Um, and during installation, it's very important to note that during final installation of your gas fire pit, you should be using a Teflon tape or pipe dope on all these threads. No tape or dope on any compression end like this but all other standard threads require it. So this came right off the flex line. We have an elbow going in, flex line directly to it. So now you have one end for your outlet. This goes straight to the key valve. This goes to your key valve which on cases like this, you want to remove first and install accordingly. So there's a half inch one for our outlet going straight to our burner. And then this one here is a three eighths, which corresponds with our three eighths uh, propane regulator. So this is our inlet. This is what you'll be seeing from a key valve standpoint, typically a 90 degree angle like this. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there's Teflon tape or pipe dope required for final installation. You do not need to put them on any tapered ends. So, when putting this one on, we're gonna put it on. And again, for the sake of the video, just do it for now. This is something you grab a standard crescent wrench and hand tighten. For the regulator, same idea. This one goes on like this. And again, same thing hand tighten with a wrench. And that's it guys, really easy, straightforward setup. This goes directly to our gas line, our gas source rather, which in this instance is a propane tank. These come in various different lengths as well. Uh, you know, I've seen people run them, uh, you know, 15, 20 plus feet. You just wanna make sure that there's enough pressure. On that note, we have a 12 inch ring. So in this instance, these 12s or, or perhaps an 18 are totally sufficient with a propane tank. The other ones are typically for natural gas being a, uh, a larger pressure and volume. All right, so now that we've got that together, uh, I just wanna go ahead and say that, uh, you know, we do carry all these parts and pieces to build your own fire pit, do-it-yourself kits, um, different media. So this is just one way that, uh, that it can be done. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's several different ways to do it, but uh, we do carry all the components. And if this is something you're ever interested in doing, by all means, give us a shout, come on down, um, and you can talk to any one of our team members and get the appropriate setup that you need. Um, so on that note, we'll be looking forward to seeing you here. Thank you.